Hello, welcome to our primary class. We'll begin with an opening prayer. Then we'll have an opening hymn on number 61 in Children's Songbook. Jesus said, love everyone. So this will be our lesson. I will order all things for your good. So all the things that we order is coming from God. And this is good for the saints and members. But we also know that we have the free agency. So Jesus Smith will teach us and... It's, uh, it's really up to us whether we follow or not, but the consequences are not free. So sometimes the desire of us, the desire of parents and leaders wants for the best for our, for our children or members because we love them. We want to take good care of them. We want them to be safe. But sometimes um, in spite of our, of our efforts, they still will make choices for themselves. And that's... Um, that's very, a very um, hard to take also for parents and for leaders. So we feel sorry about that. So this will be covered for October 4 to 10 in Doreen Covenant section 111 to 114. So the things of God can be a treasure to me. So treasure means for the world are the gold, diamonds, and those precious gems that have great worth for this world. Man, it was money, of course. So when we talk about treasures for God, so what does it mean? So what do we learn about Jesus from the things he treasure? How can we be more like him? So Jesus show us here while he was living here in during his ministry, he doesn't seek for treasure like goals, but he always share or he will always give service and help those people who are in need. So treasures us as his people, so he give more value for the people and wisdom. So we have to grow in knowledge and also righteousness and making good choices. So this is how we can have the fullness of happiness. So sometimes we thought that by richness of worldly or material things can bring us the fullness of happiness. But actually it is by living with good people, having peace of mind, and you know that you are a very responsible person, especially with your choices. So that's really a great treasure that you can keep. So the Lord will lead me by the hand and answer my prayers. So be thou humble, and the Lord thy God shall lead thee by the hand and give the answer to thy prayers. So if we are humble, we are... Uh, so it will be easier for our, for, for our God to guide us when we are humble because we are seeking and we are willing also to accept his guidance. So, for example, here is a mother with a child. So, of course, as a mother, she would like to protect her child. She holds the hand of her child for safety, to keep her in line. So that's how God wants us also to guide us. He wants us to be in line and be protected. So to hold the hand of a family mem member, like when crossing the street or giving comfort. So uh, our Father in heaven and Jesus Christ is like our really um, the one who truly loves us and want us to, to uh, want us to give comfort and guidance and will help us to be in safe in, in order. So why do, want, why do we want the Lord to lead us by the hand? Because, of course, um, Jesus Christ uh, has a very uh, infinite love for us, that he is willing to give up his life for us, that we, we will receive also the fullness of uh, blessings, uh, eternal happiness. So he showed this love during his ministry. So he comforted those people who are in need. So that shows great love for every one of us. Humility. The meaning of humility is to be humble, is to recognize gratefully your dependence on the Lord, to understand that you have constant need for his support. Humility is an acknowledgement that your talents and abilities are gifts from God. It is not a sign of weakness, timidity, or fear. It is an indication that you know where your true stand lies. You can be both humble and fearless. You can be both humble and courageous. So it doesn't, doesn't mean that you're humble if you are shy 
if you are not stepping up. So you have to be a leader, but with a kind heart and willing uh, who have a great love for others. That's how a leader should be. So Jesus Christ is our greatest example of humility. During his mortal ministry, he always acknowledged that his strength came because of his dependence on his father. He said, I can of mine own self do nothing. I seek not mine own will, but the will of the father which had sent me. So we should not be conceited or too proud not to acknowledge the help and guidance from heaven. So the Lord will strengthen you as you humble yourself before him. James thought God resisted the proud, but gave grace unto the humble. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord and he shall lift you up. So, Every time we show our humbleness and our dependence and we show our thankful, how we are grateful for their love and guidance. So God is pleased on it. And when he is pleased, he will give us more abundance and blessing also because we are willing also to listen and to be guided from heaven. Okay, here is also a chapter from chapter 41, Trouble in Kirtland. So I'm going to share also the link about this chapter so that you can learn about their experience, their troubles, and how their, en their enemies wanted to put them, put them down, down. So they want to leave, uh, they, they lead them to leave the land of Kirtland and move to Missouri during January 1838. So it was a sorrowful time. So how can we show love for others who are unhappy? So we can look around for those people who is feeling down or sorrowful and need um, need uh, someone to listen and to cheer them up. So we can be God's instrument and we can help them to be happy again. So Jesus said, love everyone. Treat them kindly too. When your heart is filled with love, others will love you too. So we can expect or we can also gain love. But be, uh, before that, we have to plant or share goodness to other people. And it might be um, we can also regain or we can also uh, receive love from, from them too. So we reap our own fruit or what we have planted. Those who are truly converted come to know Jesus Christ. So for among those, um, sorry, first among those among you, say the Lord, who have professed to know my name and have not known me and have blasphemed against me in the midst of my house, say the Lord. Sometimes there are people that are preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ, but truly they don't know him and don't know, uh, doesn't really uh, accept calling or magnify it or preach the gospel, or serve other people. Sometimes they just profess it by saying it, but not doing exactly uh, the way of the God. Okay, becoming converted to Jesus Christ is a lifelong process, so it's a lifelong. It will not be, it will not happen immediately or automatic, so it has to be a process for a lifetime, and it involves more than just professing to know his name. So we have to improve, we have to learn, we have to uh, uh, to give service and to do the will of God. So by accepting and magnifying our calling is also one way. And giving uh, free service to our church or to our temple. There are other ways that we can serve our Lord. So we can ask for ourselves. We can ask for guidance from heaven. What are the things he wants us to do so that we can balance our temporal and spiritual. So Dragon Covenant section 112 verse 14. Now I say unto you and what I say unto you, I say unto Unto all the twelve, arise and gird up your lines, take up your cross, follow me, and feed my sheep. So feed my sheep means preaching the gospel. And it's not literal uh, when we take upon our cross. It doesn't mean about we have to carry the cross on our shoulder like Jesus Christ. But when we have obligation, responsibility as parents, or if we are leaders or we have a call in the church, we have to take the responsibility. Sometimes it's really hard or difficult. It has really um, 
we have to give a lot of sacrifice and our time. So that's how we carry our cross and be patient on it. And I know that someday we can see the fruits of our hard work and our sacrifice. God will bless us. So here in 112 verse 15, Exalt not yourself, rebel not against my servant Joseph, for verily I say unto you, I am with him, and my hand shall be over him. And the keys what I have given unto him, and also to your word, you sh shall not be taken from him till I come. So during the time, he was a prophet. So some people wanted to show that they are greater than him and want to put him down and want to replace him. So God um, confirmed or testified that he's, he's still his uh, prophet, his servant, and everyone should follow him because he is a spokesperson of God. So whoever will be our prophet, we should listen and follow it. It is the direction from God. So we have to um, strengthen our faith also with our prophet as a leader, or we can ask or we can pray about it also. So here's an activity we can do. So this is a treasure bag, and here are some of example of treasure of eternity or uh, truly a great value for our lives today and for our, for our next life. So knowledge of the gospel of Jesus Christ through scriptures reading. So going to the church, so it will strengthen us also our faith and our prayer by prayer and taking up the, uh, taking the sacrament every Sunday as a reminder. And then going to the temple. So there are a lot of treasure that we can consider as a blessing, uh, as a truly uh, treasure for, for eternity, like our family. And also I treasure my work so that I can also balance my uh, spiritual and temporal. And I'm thankful also with my calling that helped me to to keep um to be inspired to learn more the gospel and to share it to other people so that's it we're done for our lesson for this week again so thank you for attending my class so i know that things i have shared to you is true and i know that god want us to be humble so that he can lead us and he want us to come uh, give us comfort and he want us to understand his way, but we cannot do that if we are not humble enough also. So I know this things to be true. I live this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So thank you once again for attending the class. And please do subscribe my channel or continue to subscribe it. And like and share this video. And leave a comment if you have any questions. And hit the notification bell for an updated videos that I'm going to upload in the future. So see you next time. And thank you for watching. So have a blessed day. Bye-bye.